I just checked out <clears throat> today is July 3rd and I left Wednesday after work and I had Thursday off <clears throat> but up until this point everything that I had planned for the weekend was planned I'm all done now with being planned out um, now I have today which is Friday I have Saturday and Sunday um, I don't know where I'm going from here. I don't, I think I have kind of a direction I want to go, <clears throat> but um, I'm thinking that maybe I'll go down towards Point Pleasant, West Virginia, which is the Mothman Museum and all that stuff, but I don't know if they're going to be open, means that today is, you know, kind of the observed July 4th holiday, but I'm just going to put my GPS to Point, Plain, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, and see what happens along the way. I do know I'm going to stop and get food because I'm freaking starving, and then see what happens along the way. I don't know if I'm going to stay in Point Pleasant. I could just sit there. I don't know. Um, completely uh, leaving it up to fate, so we'll see where I land. Freaking A, man. I was so pissed. 
like half my water jug spilled out onto my car floor. Yay! So I just made a pit stop. Um, I don't know, I've been going along the Ohio River and I've been trying to show it along the way, but there was just, I had to get out and just just do it justice. Um, this is such a beautiful area. I absolutely love this area, this is the Ohio River. And I'll turn you around and we got almost mountains back there. I don't even know if this video is going to do it justice, but there's a golf course right here. And then we got a boat launch down there. Looks like a good spot to go magnet fishing. But I really don't have the time today. Anyway, I just wanted to stop and show real quick how beautiful this place is. Now, time to get back into my car and get back up on the road. I have made it to Point Pleasant, West Virginia, home of the Mothman. So I'm going to go see if this museum's open. I don't know, it's July 3rd, observation of, you know, um, July 4th. So I don't know if they're open or not, but if anything, I'm going to go see the Mothman statue. Well, there's a bunch of little shops here, so I'm going to go shopping too. So um, let's go.
like that. Now, it's hot as hell out here. I'm trying to find, oh, there's the Mothman statue. I walked right fucking by it. So, coming over here to take a look at the Mothman statue. Get a load of this. Check her out. I'm hungry. Well, I'm not really hungry. I'm thirsty. I need something cold to drink. I'll wake up some ice water or something. So, alright, well, I'm going to kind of drive around and see what else there is and find something cold to drink. Because, yeah, thirsty place. Point Pleasant Training Company. Ooh, I might have to come in here. West Virginia. Just got done with the Mothman Museum and stopped by a little store that had all kinds of Mothman stuff. It was kind of neat. I liked it. Uh, it was kind of one of my bucket list items to come here. So I seen, I saw. So um, I was definitely dying for something cold to drink. I have plenty of water in here. It's just hot. And I've got my air on in my car. Normally when I'm driving, I'll just put the windows down, but I'm just freaking hot right now. So, uh, my next mission, I don't know, I don't know if I should stay here. I probably still got, what, what time's the sunset around here? So it's 4.50. Okay, the sun sets at 9 o'clock, so I've still got like four and a half hours of daylight left. I don't want to go deeper into West Virginia. Um, I've never really visited um, West Virginia all that much. I've just driven through like the very northern portion to get to Pennsylvania. 
so um, I ought to do West Virginia good and figure out another place to go. Uh, I'm thinking maybe maybe I'll go down the river to Huntington or perhaps Charleston. I don't know how far is it to Charleston. Four and fifteen minutes. So that's not bad. Um, how far is it to? I'm I'm guessing Huntington's probably about the same distance, an hour away. So if I go to Huntington, then I could probably cross the border into Kentucky tomorrow, and maybe roam around Kentucky, make my way up towards home. I want to try to start going home like that direction to you know after you know during tomorrow like start flipping going that way okay so let's see let's see what hotel prices are in Huntington today's right okay yeah uh, so let me see let me see okay so it looks like hotel prices are they're not that bad. Holiday Inn is only $81, so... So Ashland is the cheapest. I'm trying to see what all is in Huntington. Not much. They got a Beverly Hills edition in Hunting, Huntington, West Virginia. Oh God, that's funny. So they got a Comfort Suite. I do that. Well, actually, I do need to stay one more night in a Choice Hotel. I'm gonna get a free night. I would do 85 at the Comfort Inn. Oh, so it's not that far away. I think I might go there. Looks like it's nice. So, I think... Okay. Okay. That's where I'm going. Alright. Let's go! up I finally made it to my next hotel here I can't even pronounce the name in West Virginia I'll just stick the name on the screen um, uh, it's a comfort inn and suites um, I the rate was like $84 I think so not too shabby it was all right but let me give you a little bit of a room tour so I am right here yeah, this door was extremely hard to push open. Like, I had to throw my back into it. So, I've been in here for a hot minute. So, um, yeah, bathroom's pretty basic. Let's see how that shower works. I definitely need a shower. But, uh, let's look in here. Oh, there's my thingy. I need this. I have to have this. It's like a must. So, uh, there's a nice big mirror. And this one has, you know, a couch and a chair and a working desk. And 
They're plugged, which is nice. And then a nice big LG TV. I don't know what's on the back. Oh yeah, they've got a couple of HDMI ports, a USB, and some more back there. And then there's another bench. And well, it's not much of a view, but you know, it is what it is. And this nice big king bed. Let's just see how comfy it is. Usually comfort in doesn't disappoint on that department. So, um, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Um, it is 6.06. .06. I don't know if I'm just going to eat my snacks. I did see a steakhouse, like, a couple miles from here. But the mall is right there, too. I mean, like, I'm in the parking lot of a mall. So, um... I don't know if I'm going to be hungry enough, but I did ask the wonderful front desk lady, um, if, you know, if restaurants and bars were open or whatnot, because you never know. I mean, with this pandemic going around, you literally have to ask every single place you go because you just, you don't know. So um, she did say that bars and everything were open. Um, a lot of them are at like half capacity though. So being that it's a Friday night on a holiday weekend, I don't know how successful I'm going to be at getting, you know, a place to sit down and eat, but, oh yeah, I forgot to show you the microwave and the refrigerator. I definitely need that, so, um, but anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do. I do know I'm going to take a shower because look at all of this. I've been in the sun all day. Let me see if I can show, I've got the, uh, the driver arm, the See how red it is compared to my other side. <laughs> so I definitely got the driver's arm going on, but you know, whatever. I enjoyed it. No big deal. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get in the shower. See you later.